안녕하세요 여러분 수림입니다 and you're watching K-Pen Express Grammar on Focus Lesson number one Formal style declarative sentence final verb ending Rule number one When the verb stem ends in a consonant use Rule number two When the verb stem ends in a vowel use For instance Itta, which means to be, to exist, or to have, will be like this. It plus sumida equals isumida. Mukta, which means to eat, will be mok plus sumida equals mok sumida. On the other hand, kada, which means to go, will be kada plus equals Verb stem declarative final ending. Uta, which means to come, will be o plus will be umnita. Lesson number two. Formal style interrogative sentence final verb ending. Rule number one. When the verb stem ends in a consonant, use. Rule number two. When the verb stem ends in a vowel, use So this is how it's going to be The intonation rises at the end of If the question is a yes or no question for instance, if there is no question word in a sentence. In sentences which contain a question word like who, what, when, why, or how, the intonation does not rise with this ending. Instead, it either remains steady or even falls a bit at the end. Like, are you an American? In Korean, that would be 미국 사람입니까? 미국 사람입니까? Do you have a book? 책이 있습니까? 책이 있습니까? What is your name? 이름이 무엇입니까? 이름이 무엇입니까? Where are you going? 어디에 가십니까? 어디에 가십니까? 어디에 가십니까? Did you notice the intonation pattern? It doesn't rise all the time. So remember, if the question is answerable by yes or no, the intonation rises. But if it's not, then it falls a bit. Lesson number three. Unlike action verbs or descriptive verbs, which can stand independently at the end of the sentence, the copula itta attaches to a noun and functions like a verb. It is used to indicate the identity of a subject and predicate, or to designate an object or a thing. Like on this sentence, this is a desk. 이것이 책상입니다. 이것이 책상입니다. I am a student. 저는 학생입니다. Lesson number four. The negative of the copula 있다 is 이가 아니다. The structure of such a sentence consists of a subject and a verb clause where 이 Ka anida is the verb clause. When the noun ends in a consonant, the particle e is used. And when the noun ends in a vowel, the particle ka is used. For instance, if you want to say, I'm not a student, you say, 나는 학생이 아닙니다. 나는 학생이 
아닙니다. I'm not a student. And when you want to say this is not our house, you say 이것은 우리 집이 아닙니다. 이것은 우리 집이 아닙니다. This is not our house. 이 lesson is brought to you by Korean Pen.